Well, Sharon Stone is an award-winning actress, activist, and author, but now we're here to focus the spotlight on another one of her talents, fine arts. In fact, it was one of her first passions. Her work now on display at a Connecticut gallery. Entertainment reporter Sandy Canyon met with her, and he's there to tell us more about it. Sandy. Dave, I was really looking forward to talking to Sharon Stone again, and she did not disappoint. Her intelligence is obvious, but so is her formidable courage and her artwork. I first met her just before she became the toast of Hollywood in the 1990s, when, as she put it, acting took over her life in a very big way. What are you gonna do, charge me with smoking? She was equal parts sexy and smart. One of her scenes so memorable it remains vivid in the minds of millions more than 30 years after Basic Instinct was released. Sharon Stone's role in Casino earned her a Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination. Can I trust you? Now a different kind of show in Connecticut and a return to a pursuit from childhood because before the star ever acted, she painted. What is very different about painting is that it just comes from spirit and it comes onto the canvas. We met Stone at the C. Parker Gallery in Greenwich just before the opening of her show called Welcome to My Garden, the title reflecting the inspiration she found at her California home. When COVID happened, I had all that time and I started to paint again and I started to paint ferociously. Her bedroom became so crowded with her artwork, Stone had to relocate to her guest house. My kids just thought that I'd lost my mind. But Art News calls her work wonderful, and yet her real reward is greater peace of mind after decades spent with a hidden disability. I had a massive stroke and a brain hemorrhage. As a result of that, I have a brain seizure condition. And for many years, I tried to mask that condition. Recently, she said, no more hiding. And I think that painting brought me to that. I think it allowed me to be comfortable with me and know that I'm good enough as I am and feel okay about that. Stone told me new medication, a time release formula, helps her better control her seizures. And this medical challenge has not prevented her from spending decades raising money for AIDS research, among many other causes. The word that best describes her, as far as I'm concerned, is impressive. 